Hello everybody, I'm George, and today we're going to see why British food is the best in the world. My friend Tom and I were in the Lake District, England's largest national park, and the first thing on the menu was Grasmere gingerbread. Tom instantly made a noise like a duck to signal his approval. Uh, uh. Yes, again, I have proved that British food is the best in the world. Do you concur, Tom? Uh, yeah, yeah. We were both in agreement. With the taste of gingerbread still lingering in my mouth, I leapt from a wall, causing passers-by to marvel at my athleticism. That was really good. This is Castle Rig Stone Circle, and it was built in... Uh, but before I could reveal the historical date, I was tragically struck by lightning. Not only did I survive, but I was temporarily blessed with the powers of Dr. Doolittle, and I could hear the mutterings of sheep wherever I went. You are good at YouTube. You are very fashionable. I agree. I decided to take advantage of these new powers, and ask a question that had been troubling the minds of the British people for the past few years. What do you think about Brexit? I'm concerned that wall prices will plummet, and result in the complete destruction of our economy. Very profound. I translated this back to Tom, who was so dismayed by the plight of the sheep that he refused to look at the camera. Alright, can you feel me now? There was only one remedy, the Beatrix Potter Museum. The excitement that this visit roused in Tom almost brought tears to my eyes. He was completely captivated by the animatronic animals, staring at everything with a childlike wonder. And this souvenir photograph was the icing on the cake. Next on the menu was a roast dinner. So this is a traditional roast dinner. Now, a big criticism of roast dinners is that it looks a bit brown and a bit grey. But have a look at this. There is some colour in it. There's orange, there's white, and there's green. That's pretty much four colours right there. Next up was the pencil museum. Tom and I are both die-hard pencil fans, and have used pencils since birth, so this seemed like an absolute must. The Pencil Museum even housed the largest functioning pencil in the world, which I decided to pet lovingly, as if it were a dog. We were given a clipboard and a set of questions about pencils, and promised a mystery prize on its successful completion. However, terror struck. My palms got sweatier and sweatier, as it soon dawned on me that I couldn't answer a single question. But, after several hours, success. I smiled as I correctly answered a question. But I soon got bored and gave up. Afterwards, we went on a country walk and pretended to be real-life professional vloggers. Alright, let's turn the camera off now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This is proper natural. This looks really natural. Yeah. Me holding this camera and filming us walking. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Along the way, we tried some fudge, a popular British snack. We have already opened this and tried some already, but we're going to pretend it's the first time. Wow, that came off really easily. This is a very sweet snack that you can buy anywhere in the UK, not just uh, the Lake District. What do you think, Tom? It's very good. Very salty, but very uh, rich. That's a lot of flavour. Um, nice aftertaste. I would rate it 9 out of 10. That's quite high. 9 out of 10? Mm. Come on, let's ten, say 10 out of 10, just for the, just for the video. But I think Korean fudge might, I mean, uh, 10 out of 10. Have you tried Korean fudge before? I'm sure it's great. I... I... After the filming of this video, Tom later admitted to being paid by the French government to trash talk British food. He has since apologised for his dishonesty. Sadly, our adventure in the Lake District was coming to an end. I decided to film a sexy panning shot of a forest. Get out of the way, Tom! Before our last sample of British cuisine. And now we're going to try some Kendall mint cake. This is from Kendall. I mean, we didn't buy it. We didn't buy in Kendall. You didn't want to go to Kendall. It was bought near Kendall in a shop. How far away was it from Kendall? I think about like an hour and a half for a bus journey. Tom, I'll let you do the honours. 
First thing is uh, this packaging is pretty hard and I'm already hating this because it's being filmed at the moment. That's all right, we'll, we'll cut this out. Uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Can you cut out the swearing? I'm, I'm not supposed to swear on, on camera. It's fine, I'll, I'll bleep it out. What's your opinion, Tom? I think if it, if it was actually a chocolate, it would probably be a lot nicer. It's good. It's really good. Oh, it, it's really good. It's really good. It's really good. Well, I have to agree. I think this is absolutely cracking. And it again proves that British food is amazing. Like, I don't think I've tried a better cake before. Have you, Tom? <coughs> no, no, I haven't tried it, it. It's so good, it's making him cough to death. I think this was rationed for the war, which would explain quite a lot. Join me in my next video where I'll be taking various selfies with statues in Liverpool.